Mr. Speaker, it would be strange indeed were I not tonight deeply conscious of the fact and not a little awed by the knowledge that on my shoulders rests a great weight of responsibility because this is the first occasion upon which a woman has addressed this house. For that reason, it is an occasion which, for every woman in the Commonwealth, marks in some degree a turning point in history. I am well aware that as I acquit myself in the work that I have undertaken for the next three years, so shall I either prejudice or enhance the prospects of those women who may wish to follow me in public service in the years to come. I know that many honourable members have viewed the advent of women to the legislative halls with something approaching alarm. They've feared, I have no doubt, the somewhat too vigorous use of a new broom. I wish to reassure them. I hold very sound views on brooms and sweeping, although I quite realise that a new broom is a very useful adjunct to the work of the housewife. I also know that it's undoubtedly very unpopular in the broom cupboard. And this particular new broom knows that she has a very great deal to learn from the occupants of, well, I dare not say this particular cupboard. Somewhere about the year 1830, there began a period in Australian history which for me has always held a peculiar fascination. I should like to have been born at that time. I should like to have been alive in the days when bushrangers flourished, when life was hard and even raw, when gold was discovered, when all the colonies became states, and when all the great social and political movements were born, which so coloured the fabric of Australian life. Because during all those years, very much of what we now know as the Australian character was formed. It was during those years that we learned those things which still characterise the great bulk of our people. Hatred of oppression, love of a fair go, a passion for justice. It was in those years that we developed those qualities of initiative and daring that have marked our men in every war in which they have fought. Qualities which, I hope, will never be allowed to die. I think that we shouldn't fail occasionally to pause and look back upon the great moments of our past. We go along thinking always that we progress, but sometimes we have to pause and take stock. I think that every Australian should pause now and again and say to himself, only 150 years ago, this land was wilderness. Now we have great cities and great feats of engineering and beautiful buildings everywhere. And this is still a land of promise. We can't afford to neglect some recognition of our past even though we gaze into the future. <laughs>